Say hello to Bugsy. People ask, where does Bugsy get his name? He gets his name because he's such a rascal from Bugsy Siegel, the infamous gangster. Bugsy? Hmm, that, why, Doc, does my fat transfer not work as well? Well, there's this little thing called medicine, and we go and look at what they are taking, and they're part of an ever-growing epidemic, for better or for worse, of patients that are on the semiglutides, the Ozempics, the Wagovis, the Monjaros, or the Terzepatides, the GIP, GLP-1 agonists, at least in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, Southern California, for weight loss. They're saying, well, I don't take a lot of Ozempic or Monjaro. I now, wait for this, I hear that they are microdosing like microdosing mushrooms, microdosing ketamine, everybody's microdosing everything. And it probably comes from the Silicon Valley where people are body hacking, taking their nootropics, etc. And it's just, I feel another way of people trying to get control of their lives. It's the new anorexia, the new anorexia nervosa. These people are addicted now to these medications that are making lots of people rich and a lot of people healthy and a lot of people mm. so these patients don't tell me that they're actually microdosing this medication and they're wondering why their fat transfer isn't as effective well for fat transfer to work it is you have to understand a living filler it has to get a blood supply within the first 72 hours of getting transferred and so what happens is that it is body fat and body fat responds to stress. It responds to weight gain and weight loss. So if you're in a perpetual state of weight loss, even after you've had fat transfer, it's not gonna be as effective. Obviously, you're in a more of a catabolic state. You're trying to lose weight. Fat transfer is not transferring concrete or some inanimate plastic into your face. It's just like hair transplants, that it retains its basically donor characteristic from the back of the head, where it's still growing, and you put it to the receding front of your hairline. And what it does is that that hair still retains its donor characteristic, despite being in a new host environment. Fat transfer takes taken from one part, from your hips to your lips, for example, from your stomach, from your inner thighs, knees, whatever. But that fat is body fat. It's God's cruel joke that we have two types of fat. Facial fat, which goes away and contributes to significant facial aging with volume loss. And body fat. Body fat, as we know, grows with age and it just grows. And so you're putting it into the face, it's great. But in the meantime, if you're on these medications and you're constantly stressing your body because you're trying to look as thin as possible, then that's going to also be reflected into the body fat that has been transferred into the face. And the same goes for Renuva, that cadaveric derived bioinductive filler that's a great filler. It's not going to have as good effect. It's not going to stimulate your own fat to grow if you're trying to lose fat, whether it's because you actually suffer from anorexia nervosa or if you're just dieting or if you are trying to body hack yourself with these semi-glutides. So a little bit of, excuse the pun, food for thought. Have a great evening and stay informed and thank you for watching.